right away, Jughead. It's a matter of life or death. Oh, relax, Georgie. Relax. Yes, here he is again. The youngster millions of readers of Archie Comics magazine know and love so well. Brought to you by Swift and Company. Makers of Swift premium pranks. Archie Andrews and all his gang. Tender be to the sweet one, north and west of who you are, with a spring in premium pranks. For your guarantee of protection, Swift's premium pranks now come to you cellophane wrapped in handy one pound packages. Made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast, Swift's premium pranks are then wrapped in the new handy sanitary flavor saver pack and brought to you at the very peak of their tantalizing flavor, with all their natural goodness sealed in. So kids, tell your mom that you want Swift's Premium Franks. And mom, get some today. They're delicious. And you'll be glad to know that Swift's Premium Franks are economical. There's no waste to them. Every bite is all nourishment. Dinner quality meat. Ask for them today. Swift's Premium Franks in the sanitary one-pound package. Now for our weekly visit to Riverdale. It's a sunny Saturday morning as we look in on the Andrews home, and we find Mrs. Andrews working in the kitchen. In the good old summertime. In the good old summertime. Phew! Oh, what a day. Oh, hello, dear. Uh, What'd you say? I said, what a day. What's wrong with it? Well, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Yes, what's wrong with it? Mary, have you by any chance taken a look at the thermometer right outside this window? Well, no, I haven't. Why? Because, Mary, this is the first time I ever saw a thermometer perspire. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me it's hot? Mary, do I have to tell you it's hot? Can't you feel it? Well, as a matter of fact, dear, I've been so busy working around the kitchen, I haven't had time to notice the heat. But it happens to be 90 degrees in the shade. What do you mean you haven't noticed it? Fred, don't be silly. Everybody knows that the heat is always worse if you sit around worrying about it. The only thing to do is ignore it. But, Mary, how do you ignore 90 degrees? I might ignore the first 60 or 70 of them, but the last 20 get me. Fred, oh, I could fry so. eggs on the sidewalk today. Yes, dear. In an hour out in that sun, you'd have a sunstroke. Yes, dear. And it's still don't... morning. What's it going to be like this afternoon? Oh, my. Fred Andrews, instead of standing there and complaining about the heat as though you were in a tropical jungle someplace, why don't you do something about it? Do? Mary, uh, what do you suggest I do? Well, go sit on the porch. Sit on the porch? Yes, dear. There's always a nice breeze out there, and with the awning down and a nice, comfortable rocking chair to sit in, well, you can be as comfortable out there as any place in town. Oh, well, maybe you're right, dear. Maybe you're right. I'll try it. But I have to get mm. this kitchen straightened out, heat or no heat. Yes, dear, but I don't know where you get the energy to work on a day like this. Oh, oh. I've never in all my days seen a summer as hot as this one. Ninety degrees at this time of the day. Why, it's unheard of. It's... Oh, oh. There is a little breeze out here at that. <laughs> well, maybe Mary was right. If I just sit still in this rocking chair, I might be able to stay cool. Oh, oh, this heat sure knocks me out. Uh, oh, that's a little better anyway. I can almost breathe now. In the good old I, summertime. Oh, in the good fine. old summertime. See, hiya, Dad. How's the boy? Oh, hello, Archie. I'm... Well, day, isn't it, Dad? Well, well day, this is Archie, about the I... best summer we've ever had. Archie, yes, sir, I... Nothing like a little sunshine to make a fella feel good. Archie, hey. you may call this a little sunshine that makes you feel good, but I'm confounded hot. Do you mind? Well, gee whiz, Dad, what's there to be so hot about? What's there to be hot about? Archie, aren't you hot? Well, I'm a little warm, but not hot. In fact, soon as I get my glove, Jug and I are going out to play baseball. Play baseball on a day like this? Uh-huh. Archie, do you mean to say that you're actually going to stand out in some hot, dusty field right in the blazing sun and run around after a baseball on a day like this? Sure, Dad. Why not? Because it's night. Because you'll get sun. Because only mad dogs. Because... Oh, never mind, Archie. 
I'm starting to perspire all over again just thinking about your playing baseball. Gee whiz, Dad, you know what you need? Yes, a trip to Alaska. No, seriously, Dad, if you're hot, what you ought to do is go in the kitchen and make yourself a nice glass of ice-cold lemonade. Archie, never mind. Hmm? Did you say ice-cold lemonade? Uh-huh, with lots of ice. That'll cool you off. <laughs> Archie, you know, you may have something there. Sure, I just had some down at the drugstore, Dad, and it was swell. Well, i got to get my glove. Call me if Jughead gets here, will you, Dad? Yes, Archie, I will. Ice cold lemonade. Yes, sir, that's just exactly what I need. <clears throat> oh, Mary! Oh, Mary! Yes? Yeah? Could you come out here for a minute, dear? Very busy, dear. Yes, dear, I know, I know. And I wouldn't bother you, but it's very important. Yes? Mm. Uh, would you mind making me a nice big glass of ice-cold lemonade? Lemonade? But, Fred, I'm so busy. No, I'd come in and make it myself, dear, but I, I don't want to get in your way. But, Fred, just I just... make it nice and sour and put lots of ice in it. Fred, in fact, I... just fill the glass with ice, then just pour a little lemonade over it. Fred, are you through daydreaming now? Yes, dear. I'm daydreaming. <laughs> Who's daydreaming? You are. I'm defrosting the refrigerator, and we haven't a drop of ice in the house. Oh, good. For a minute, I was afraid you... There's no ice. <laughs> oh, Mary, Mary, you're fooling. Fred, I'm not. Oh, great. Mary, is this any day to be without ice? Well, Fred, how did I know you'd be wanting cold lemonade? And besides, that refrigerator needed defrosting. But, but Mary, I'll, I'll I... put it on, and you'll have some ice in half an hour, dear. Half an hour? Oh, that's fine. I'll probably be dead of the heat in two minutes. My wife says she'll have some ice in half an hour. Well, oh, that was the lemonade. Archie, Good, I... huh? Bet you feel I... cooler already. Archie, I told I... you there's nothing like a nice big glass of ice-cold lemonade on a day like this. Archie, it so happens I haven't even had a smell of a glass of lemonade. She was dead. Lemonade doesn't smell. <laughs> Archie, I know that. What I mean is that I haven't had any lemonade at all. It seems your mother is defrosting the refrigerator and we have no ice. Oh, gee whiz, that's too bad. Yes, Archie, and I... It's... Hey, that gives me an idea. So long, Dad. Archie, come back here. Me, Dad? Yes, you. Oh. Archie, you run next door to Betty's and borrow a tray of ice cubes. But, Dad, Jughead's calling for me any minute, and we're going to play Archie. baseball, and I just... I do... Yes, Dad. Archie, have you seen this morning's paper? Yes, Dad. Did you happen to read the story of how nine people collapsed of heat prostration this week? Yes, Dad. Do you want that ha happen to me? Yes, Dad. No! <laughs> I mean, no, Dad. <laughs> All right. Then go over to Betty's and get some ice cubes and stop arguing. Okay, Dad, okay, I'm going. But if Jughead gets here, tell him to wait. Yes, Archie, and, and don't be all day about it. I won't, Dad. No, oh, I won't, Dad. Oh, that boy. Getting him to do something is just like... Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jughead. Who'd you expect? The good humor man? <laughs> no, Jughead, I did not expect the good humor man. And I, I did not expect you to come sneaking up in back of me, either. Where'd you come from, anyway? Oh, I came around that side of the house. Why? That's the shady side. It's all fine. Well, I'm glad you've got sense enough to stay out of the sun anyway. Sure I have. It's an awful hot day today. Yes, sir. Hottest day I've ever seen. Yes, Hottest God. day in ten years, I Judge, bet. I don't it's going to get to... hotter, too. All right, Jughead, so it's going to get hotter. <laughs> you certainly don't make me feel any cooler talking about it. I don't? No, you don't. Now, just be quiet before I suffer a case of heat prostration. Gee, my Uncle Herman had a case of heat prostration last week. He did? Uh-huh. He even went to the doctor. Well, what did the doctor do? He told my Uncle Herman to try salt. Salt? Table salt? Uh-huh. The doctor said that's the best thing on a hot day. Well, I've heard of that. Did it help your uncle? No. And we poured half a box over him. <laughs> oh, great. Jughead, your Uncle Herman didn't really let you pour salt all over him, did he? Sure. What'd you expect him to do, Edith? <laughs> Jughead, look... Let's just forget your Uncle Herman. I, I'm too hot to even talk. See, I know what you need, Mr. Andrews, a fan. Yes, Jug, I... A what? A fan, an electric fan. Jughead, you know something? That's a good idea. I get lots of good ideas. Well, we won't argue that right now. <laughs> but an electric fan out here in the porch to stir up the breeze might be just what the doctor ordered. Oh, no. The doctor ordered salt. It... 
Jughead, this is a different doctor, and be quiet. Oh, okay. Now, where am I going to get a fan? Ours went out of order two years ago, and I never did get a new one. I got one. You have? Uh huh. Oh, one. Jughead, that's great. That's swell. In fact, that's wonderful. Well, Jug, you don't mind running home and getting the fan as a favor to me, do you? Yep. But, Jughead, you only live a few blocks from here. I know, but, Mr. Andrews, it's so hot. Oh, fine. Jughead, look, if you'll go home and bring that fan back here, I'll give you a quarter. Nope. I'll give you four nickels. It's a deal. You... Oh, 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 fine. <laughs> All right, Judge. You go get the fan, and I'll give you the money. Okay, Mr. Andrews. But tell us you'll be right back. Oh, boy, four nickels. Oh, that jug here. A quarter isn't enough, but four nickels is Ooh, all Dad, right. Oh, Dad, could... Dad, quick, take it, take it. Oh, she for Pete's sake, where'd you get that big chunk of ice? Well, Betty wasn't home, so I went to the Jenkins, and they have an ice box, and they gave me this chunk of ice, and boy, is it cold. Take it, quick. Archie, Ooh. don't hand it to the... Oh, no. oh, that's freezing, Archie. Take it, take it back. Dad, wait till my hands are warm. Oh. Don't like... Oh, boy, boy, Dad, take it back. Oh, oh. Oh, here. Mom, quick, quick, take this ice cream. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 good grief. Just look at that. My ice. Your ice? Fred, what about my porch? Your porch? Mary, who wants to drink your porch? <laughs> Nobody wants to drink it, but just look at the mess that melting ice is making. Archie, how could you drop the ice? It was easy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mary, never mind a little melted ice now. Better get a pot or something to pick up the pieces before it all melts. All right, dear, but I do have other things to do, you know. Oh, fine thing. Just look at that ice splattered all over the place. Gee, I'm sorry, uh, Dad, but I couldn't help it. My hands were so cold and the ice was so slippery. Hello, just... Archie. Oh, gee whiz, Betty. Oh, fine. Hello, Mr. Andrews. Hello, Betty. How are you, Archie? Oh, fine, Oh, Betty. this is the hottest day you ever saw. Well, I don't I think... bet it's over 100. Well, Archie... I've never been so hot in all my life. Well, neither But you I... look nice and cool. Well, I feel pretty Golly, what's that all over the porch? Oh, that's... Ice. A... Golly, how did ice get there in a day like this? Oh, well, you see... Golly, I'm... Archie, you're not talking very much today. Something wrong? Oh, fine. No, Betty, nothing's wrong. If you let me explain... Well, see, I've been I was standing here for ten minutes to... now, but you haven't said a word. Betty, if you'll just shut... I mean, if you'll be quiet for a minute, I'll say a word. Two words, in fact. Oh, okay. 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 No, well, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. That could go on all day. Betty, what Archie's trying to tell you is that I was hot and I wanted some cold lemonade. Cold lemonade? Oh, God, Betty. I... Okay. And Archie went to your house to borrow some ice cubes. But I wasn't home. Yeah, that's right. So he went to Mrs. Jenkins and got a big chunk of ice and dropped it and broke it. And that's how the ice got all over the porch. Now are you happy? Oh, I was happy before that. Oh, I... <laughs> but golly, Mr. Andrews, I know a better way to keep cool than drinking lemonade. Yes, I know, but... You do? Mm-hmm. What is it? Turn the sprinkler on. The sprinkler? Mm-hmm. That's what my father always does on a hot day. Gets the garden hose out and puts the lawn sprinkler on full force. And that fine spray in the air cools off the whole house. Now, by George, you might have something there. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. It certainly does. <laughs> but we don't have a lawn sprinkler. Oh, you could use ours, Mr. Andrews. We could run the hose right across our lawn to your lawn. Betty, that's wonderful. Archie, you go over and help Betty drag the hose over here. But, Dad, I'm waiting for Judge Hand. Oh, I forgot to tell you. He was here a few minutes ago. He was? Oh, gee, was where'd he go? Well, he had to run home for, uh, for something. But he'll be back in a minute. Now, now, you two go ahead. You and Betty get that sprinkler turned on, please, before I melt away, will you? Okay, come on, Betty. Uh, all right, Archie. I think it's all connected and everything. Oh, sprinklers. Sprinklers. Now, why didn't I think of that before? Well, I didn't... Uh, yeah. Put all the ice right in here. Huh? Fred Andrews, haven't you picked up any of that ice? But, oh, good grief. I forgot all about it, oh, Mary. Oh, for pity's sake. Fred, I thought oh. you wanted the ice for lemonade. Oh, well, I, I did, dear. I did. But it doesn't matter now. Betty was just here with a wonderful suggestion. The lawn sprinkler. Sprinkler? Yes, sir. She and Archie are setting the lawn sprinkler up on the front lawn. And when we get that going, the spray will cool off the whole place. Then you don't want the ice? <laughs> Not now, I don't. For pity's sake, get everyone excited about ice, and then you don't want ice. Fred Andrews, I wish you'd make up your mind. Mary, I did make up my mind, but how can I want ice that's all melted? How? I 
I don't know. Go! Oh. <laughs> oh, Georgie. Jughead, where did you come from this time? My house, remember? Remember? Oh, you mean the fan I sent you for? Uh huh, here it is. <laughs> Jughead, is that a fan? Yep. Yeah, but the blades are all battered and bent, and the guardrail has gone off of it. Whatever happened to it? Well, last winter I got an idea to put wings on it and make an electric airplane. And? It worked. Oh, fine. It crashed right through the window. Boy, what a plan that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jug, 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 Jughead! <laughs> Never mind your inventions. What I want to know is, does it still work as a fan? Oh, sure. I think. But just be careful of the blades. It's a little dangerous without the guardrails around. Oh, yes, Doc. I'll be careful. Here, I'll hold the fan. I'll, you go and plug it in. There's just pocket right on the other side of the door. Okay, I got it. Well, good. Now I'll snap the switch. Uh, Jug, I turned the switch on, but nothing happened. Oh, it will, Mr. Rangers. Just give it time. There, it's going now. How can you tell? Can't you hear it? Jughead, I can not only hear it, I can count the number of times the blades go around in a minute. Well, <laughs> it is a little slow, isn't it? You're like everything in your family. Huh? No, nothing, Jug, nothing. <laughs> I'll turn it off. Turn it off? You mean you aren't going to use it? Jug, After I... After I went all the way home for Jug, it, I... Jug, I... Make that whole Jughead, thing, look! I'll still give you the four nickels, I promise you, but there's no sense running a fan that'll hardly turn. It's not the money. It's the principle of the thing. There's nothing wrong with that fan. I think you ought to use it. Oh, mate, look, Jughead, you take this fan down to my workshop or in the basement and see if you can find a loose wire or something. Now, if you can fix it, I'll use it. But otherwise, it's just a waste of electricity. Okay, I'll fix it and you'll see. Yes? I'll see. Yes, Jug, I'll see. Oh, how do I get into these things? Hey, I Dad, don't know. Hey, Dad, I need the Where do you want it? Oh, good. Put it right in the center of the lawn, Archie. Near the walk. Okay. <sighs> How's that? Oh, fine. Now, turn it on. Full force. Okay, Dad. Hey, Daddy, turn it on. Well, yeah, maybe now things will cool off around here. Oh, I... Mr. Oh, Mr. Sherry, hello. Is it hot enough for you, Mr. Andrews? <laughs> yes, Mr. Sherry. Hey, come on up here in the porch. Oh, I can't stay, Mr. Andrews. Got to do some shopping for my wife. Yeah, but don't stand there, Mr. Sherry. They're going to turn the sprinkler on. Uh, what sprinkler? That sprinkler. Well, I'm getting wet. I, I tried to tell you, Mr. Sherry, but... Here, I just stopped by to say hello and give you these Swift premium pranks and the handy one-pound package wrapped in cellophane for your convenience and protection. And what happens? You get wet. But I... Don't you want to hear about those plump, delicious pranks made of all dinner-quality meats? Yes, but I... Okay, Mr. Andrews, listen to this. Swift's premium pranks come in the new sanitary flavor saver pack that seals in all the natural goodness of those wonderful pranks. Imagine, eight to ten of the juiciest, most flavorful pranks you ever tasted wrapped in a cellophane package to ensure extra freshness. And here I was delivering to you these delightful Swift's premium pranks made of tender beef and juicy pork, skillfully blended into each wonderful prank, and then you turn the hose on me. Yes, but Just I... think what you're getting, Mr. Andrews. Swift's premium pranks. The pranks that are made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast, so that wherever or whenever you buy them, you know they're fresh. Uh, Mr. Sherry, look, I like Swift's premium francs, and I like you, and I apologize for getting you wet. But for Pete's sake, don't just stand there in that sprinkler. Don't stand in it. Mr. Andrews, don't be silly. This is the first time I've been cool all day. What? Thanks for the shower. Well, see you later, Mr. Andrews. Well, I'll be darned. And all the time I thought he was mad about that water. Well, how's I don't that, know. Dad? Good, huh? Uh, yes, Archie. Fine. Now I'll go back and turn it off. Turn it off? Dad, I thought you said you wanted the spray. I did, but you two just got Mr. Sherry soaking wet. Oh, we did? Yes, and while he didn't mind, the next person might. So just turn it off before we get into trouble. Golly, okay, Mr. Andrews. I'll go turn it off, but I wish you'd Ooh. decide whether you want the sprinkler or not. Yeah, Dad, after all the work we went to, I think... Yes, the... Archie, I, I, I know I... you went to a lot of work, and I'm sorry, son. Believe me, I did want it on. Because if I don't cool off soon, I'll boil over. But that sprinkler is just too dangerous to leave on, that's all. I Okay, think... Dad. Betty's got it off. Now, if Jughead would just get back here, we could go play Oh, some... I forgot to tell you, Archie. Jughead is here. Well, that is here? Where? Downstairs in the basement, fixing an old fan. Gee whiz, Dad, why didn't you tell me? I've been oh, waiting for Jughead. Oh, Archie. <laughs> oh, great. Hi, y'all, Archiekin. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm awful glad to see you all, Archie. Dear. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Andrews. Why, you look all hot. Uh, Veronica, I all am hot. I've been trying to cool off with fans and cold lemonade and sprinklers and whatnot, but it doesn't seem to do me the least bit of good. Oh, my goodness. Why don't you do what my father does on a hot day like this? Uh, what's that? He gets himself a bucket of cold water and sits with his feet in it. Keeps his feet in a bucket of cold water? Uh-huh. He says that'll keep him cool even if the temperature were 150. Well, now, why didn't I think of that? Well, that's the best suggestion yet. Yes, sir. Oh, gee whiz, Dad, you don't want me to go get a bucket of water now, do you? No, Archie, I certainly do not. Huh? Every time I've sent you for something, I've had trouble. This time, I'm going to get something myself. Yes, sir, a nice big bucket of ice cold water, just exactly what I need. Well, I'm glad that's one thing I don't have to do. Boy, I've been chasing around for an hour. Oh, have you really, Archie? Uh-huh. But now I can talk to you until Jughead gets here. <laughs> Hello. I had opened my big mouth. Hello, Jug. Hi. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Jug. Well, did you get the fan fixed? Well, not exactly, but I found out how to make it work. There's a loose wire inside, and when it stands up straight, it doesn't go. But when you lay it down on its back, it goes like crazy. Well, Judge, that's very interesting, but I... You want to see? Well, not right now, Judge. Yeah, hold the fan. I'll go plug it in on the other side of the door. Oh, me. All right, Judge, but hurry up. Okay, this will just take a second. Oh, that Judge. It's sometimes... Yeah, I got the bucket of water. Yes, sir. But Dad, look out for that wire. Dad, look out! Oh, look out! You're only supposed to put your feet in it. Very funny. Very funny. Fred, what to get so... Mary, I don't know. I came out here with this bucket and somebody tripped me. Oh, gee whiz, Dad, nobody tripped you. You tripped over the wire. What wire? The wire to my fan. See? Oh, great. Jughead, have you still got that broken down thing here? Sure. All you got to do is lay it down and it works. Oh, that's fine, but get it out of here. Okay, okay. I'll put it down in this chair. Yes, but be sure you just... Oh, Fred, never mind, Jughead. Now, did you hurt yourself when you fell? Yes, I did, Mary. I wrenched my back and it hurts like the dickens oh, and I... Oh, dear. Fred, I'm going to call a doctor. The doc? Oh, no, Mary, no, just for a little bruise. Fred, I... a back injury can be serious. We might as well have the doctor look at it. Yeah, but, Mary, I can't... Oh, me. What's the use? All I want to do is keep cool, and the more Holly, I... Holly, t- what's going on? Oh, hello, Betty. My father just fell and hurt his back. Oh, he... Veronica, you're here. Well, anything wrong with that, Miss Cooper? Now, Don't Veronica, you, Miss Cooper, me, Miss Lyon. And why not? Now, Veronica, I... Because I'll slap your face, that's why. Oh, oh you just a minute, Just a minute. I absolutely have had enough trouble around here today without you two girls getting into a fight. Now, you hear me? Well, she started it. I don't care who started it. Now, Betty, you stay right where you are. And, Veronica, you sit down in that chair. Mr. Andrews! I want no more nonsense around here of any kind. Mr. Andrews! I'll have some peace and quiet or know the reason why. Mr. Andrews! And some head you be quiet, too. Veronica, I said sit down in that chair. Yes, Mr. Andrews, but I... <laughs> Veronica, what bit you? Now, listen to me, all of you. This nonsense has gone far enough. Too far, in fact. So has my fan. (laughs) I should be quiet. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, all I want to know is why, when the temperature is 90 degrees in the shade and nobody can find any shade, and I just want to sit still and try to keep cool, that's all. Just sit on my own front porch and keep cool. Why can't I do it? Why? Why? I give up. <laughs> Jughead, be quiet. Okay, okay. I have never in all my days seen anything like this. First, no ice. Then Archie goes to borrow some ice, but we drop the ice and it melts. 
Then Jughead goes home to get a fan that doesn't work. Then Archie turns on a hose that soaks Mr. Sherry. Then Jughead strings wire all over the porch so I can trip over it. And <laughs> boy, did you look funny. <laughs> Jughead! <laughs> okay, okay. Fred, there's no need to shout so. You're just getting hotter, dear. Oh, uh, Mary, wouldn't you shout if these things happen to you? Well, I know, but, but you... I am through shouting, and I am through getting hotter. And things are going to be done my way starting right now, you hear? Yes, yes Mr. Andrews. Andrews. Yes, dear. Yes, dear, Dad. All right. Now, Jughead, you take that fan home right now. Yes, you hear me? Yes, Mr. Andrews. Yeah, Archie, you take this bucket inside the house. Yes, Dad. And Betty... Please take your sprinkler and hose back home. Yes, Mr. Andrews. And I am just going to sit here quietly, and that's final. But, Fred, you can't do that. And why not? Because I just spoke to the doctor and told him you sprained your back. And? And he said you better get right down to his office and you'll be good as new as soon as he gives you a couple hours of heat treatment. Heat treatment? Oh, no! Oh, no! I won't do it! I won't do it! you really know what you're getting when you ask for Swift's Premium Franks. Made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast, so you know they're fresh. Made by Swift, so you know they're top quality. Ask for them today. Swift's Premium Franks in the new handy one-pound cellophane package. And while you're at your dealers, be sure to ask for Swift's Brookfield Sausage. The sausage with the just right seasoning. And don't forget that your dealer has a tempting variety of Swift's Premium Table-Ready Meats. Tasty cooked specialty is being featured this week. A delicious luncheon meat. Swift's premium cooked specialty is all meat. No bones, no waste. An economical, flavorful meat that the whole family will enjoy. Swift's premium cooked specialty is just the thing for refreshing summertime lunches, suppers, and picnics. For a meal in a flash that saves plenty of cash, get Swift's premium table-ready meats. Now, back to the Andrews. It's later that afternoon, and we find Mr. Andrews just coming home from his heat treatment at the doctor's office. Oh, oh. Fred, is that you? Yes, ma'am, it's, it's me. Gee whiz, Dad. How's your back feel? Oh, Archie, my back is fine now, but I have never been so hot and tired in all my life. Mary, if you've got that refrigerator going, please make me a cold lemonade now. All right, dear, I will. Right away. Oh, dear. Oh, what is it? I turned the refrigerator on, but I forgot to put any water in the trays. There isn't a drop of ice in the house. Oh, no. <laughs> You've been listening to another chapter of The Adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Jampel and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Archie was played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Harlan Stone. Mom and Dad Andrews are played by Alice Uriman and Arthur Cole. Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Rice. This program is produced and directed by Kenneth McGregor. Listen next Saturday when Swift and Company, makers of Swift's Premium Franks, brings you more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Bob Sherry wishing you all a very pleasant weekend. So long. Swift and Company invite you to stay tuned for...